What's up, Wayne Barron here with Dark Effect Studios, and we are inside of our VMware ESXi 6.5 virtual server of our 2016 installation. What we're going to do in this video is we are going to, number one, we're going to change the IP address of our network adapter, and then we are going to join the domain. So what we're going to do first, come over here, click on our little network item here, and choose Network Settings choose change adapter options. We're going to right click on our ethernet adapter, go down to properties. We do not have the version six of the TCP IP, so we're going to uncheck that. We're gonna come over here to our internet protocol four, double click on it, and we're going to give it the IP address of 192.168.2.89. Let's do eight nine. And then come down here, 192.168.2.1 down here 192.168.2.88 that is our domain controller and then 888 and 8 that is google click on ok click ok again and now we should be set up okay so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to right click on our start menu come up here to system we're going to change settings and then we're going to click on change we're going to choose a domain come over here we're going to change this to dark radio and then we're going to click on OK then we're going to give this as dark radio and then click on OK welcome to coarsefoxfire.local domain click OK on that and let's go ahead and close out of that and choose restart okay click up here left click that is choose guest OS send keys control alt delete Let's come over here and choose other user. Type in our domain, backslash, and then dark radio. Okay, so we have joined our domain and we are now a domain member. If we come over here, right click on the start menu, come over here to system, we see that it has taken on the computer name of dark radio. All right, I am Wayne Barron. This is Dark Effect Studios. Y'all have a good one, and we will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.